You have $300 burning a hole in your pocket and you're in the market for a new GPU. You have two options in this price range. One is an RTX 3060 and the other is an RX 6700 XT. Now the AMD option is slightly more expensive, so is it worth spending a couple more dollars getting the AMD version rather than Nvidia? Now you may have seen other videos from other YouTubers comparing these two GPUs. However, in this video, I'll be testing FSR 3 in one of the games that has that feature available and seeing what the performance difference is. And you can then also use that as a barometer to have a look at what future improvements you can expect on other games that start to roll out support for FSR 3.0. So getting started on the first game, let's have a look. Now first up looking at GTA 5 at 4K and yeah I mean I haven't played this game in ages so I tell you now I, I did not mean to punch that Hello, woman in the face. Gladys? Genuinely I pressed the wrong button when I did that. So yeah I mean take that as you will. But overall you know you were getting around about 45 FPS pretty smooth performance. And the frame time was pretty steady throughout, no issues whatsoever and you would kind of expect this with a game being over 10 years old I think it is now. So let's compare that to how the RX 6700 XT performs in GTA 5. Now with an RX 6700 XT you are getting much better performance. The average FPS was running around about 80 and I was running exactly the same scenes between the two graphics cards, just running to my garage, getting in my car. And yeah, you can tell that I haven't played this game in a very long time. To be honest, the last time I really played this was on my PS3 until it got stolen. So it kind of goes hand in hand with GTA 5, I suppose. And funny enough, it was stolen from my car. So yeah, overall smooth frame time, no issues, no judders, and you're gonna get excellent performance playing GTA 5. Now running the latest version of Warzone Call of Duty and with an RTX 4060 of course yes you're going to get better FPS using an Nvidia card mainly because this game is mainly affiliated with Nvidia, Nvidia and we were looking around about 50 FPS running this game on that GPU. Again frame times was super smooth no issues whatsoever and yeah unfortunately the um, footage that I got for my 6700 XT was on a different map at night um, but it should be somewhat comparable I suppose. Now looking at the 6700 XT we were getting an average FPS of around 45 so there was a 5 FPS drop between the two GPUs However, the game still runs really well. Of course, this is running on the highest settings at 4K. And of course, we are using DLSS with NVIDIA and also FSR 2.1, I think, on Call of Duty Warzone. So if that upgrades to FSR 3.0, you're probably going to be looking at a comparable performance if that ever happens in the future. So, yeah, again, frame time is very smooth and no issues running this game. Now the current scores is one point to AMD, one point to Nvidia. Let's have a look at Starfield and see how it performs between the two GPUs. The RTX 3060 got an average FPS of 30. Again, frame times was incredibly smooth. This was running at 4K, highest settings. But overall, you know, even at a 30 FPS, you're not running a competitive shooter and it's somewhat acceptable I suppose I mean you're kind of getting um, console quality frame rates I suppose so yeah not too bad um, let's have a look at see how AMD has performed now running this with AMD you're getting slightly higher FPS uh, running at 35 so yeah slightly better performance for an extra $20 between the two graphics cards so is that a justification to buy this GPU? I don't know, I don't think we can make that conclusion yet. Of course, Starfield is running FSR 2.0, they haven't upgraded to 3.0 yet, but in terms of this game, I call this a win for AMD.
Now looking at Forspoken, which is the only one of two titles that supports FSR 3.0. Of course, FSR 3.0 does work for both NVIDIA and AMD. However, the performance speaks for itself, where the RX 6700 XT got an average FPS of 70. And this game can be used as a barometer to compare other games when 3.0 comes available for other games such as Starfield and Warzone, if and when that ever happens. So... This game is a definite win for AMD. Now trying out a bit of an older title, Battlefield 5, and this is a good test to see how it performs with some of the older games that we love uh, or may not love in the Battlefield series. Overall, I couldn't really draw a conclusion between the two though. About the same. I mean, the frame times and the FPS were kind of worse on the AMD graphics card yeah, for whatever reason, and it was super smooth on the Nvidia side. But overall, the FPS was up and down all over the place, so I kind of call this one a draw. Um, no improvement between the two. However, I have to kind of give it to Nvidia just because the frame time is a lot smoother than on the AMD side. Now looking at a bit of a newer title, Hogwarts Legacy, and again, the settings are the same for both GPUs. And again, overall, I couldn't really give you a conclusive definition of which done better. There are both around about 45 FPS, and bearing in mind in all of these games, I have not switched on ray tracing. So if you want ray tracing on, you know, I think the 3060 will probably do much better however in this game with ray tracing off you are getting around about 45 fps and i think with ray tracing off you get a bit more of a fair comparison between the two gpus because if 3060 had ray tracing on the fps would tank like crazy overall i couldn't really give a clear winner in this i'd have to say probably the frame time is a little bit smoother on the md side but it's really clutching at straws and I think this one is a definite draw. Now having a quick look at Cyberpunk 2077 and there is a clear winner here. I don't know if this was a fluke or what. However, there was a distinct difference between the two GPUs. I was getting around about 80 FPS on my RX 6700 XT and only 34 on my RTX 3060. Tell me if you've got an RTX 3060, what kind of FPS are you getting with 4K resolution and everything cranked to high? I don't know. Um, let me know what your conclusions are, but this is a def definite clear winner for AMD. Now, both GPUs performed really well in these tests. Some performed better on NVIDIA, some performed better on AMD. However, with FSR 3.0 that has just been released at the beginning of the month, and with more games adopting that technology as we move forwards, you know, you're probably not gonna get it in the next couple of weeks, maybe the next couple of months. I think where I would put my money would be an RX 6700 XT spend the extra 20 to 30 dollars to get that gpu and i think you'll be future proofing yourself much more than nvidia of course time will tell to see if i'm right or wrong on this analysis if you think differently uh, leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts otherwise please let me know if you like this video please remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one